Hey guys, it's Kristen with another chance resale. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Um, I have a jewelry haul to show you. Um, <laughs> so I got this on eBay. I was um, looking actually for some brooches to add to my collection, some Gouda Percha brooches. Um, anyway, so I came across one that I purchased, but she also had um, some jewelry lots available so I decided to bid on one and um, oh, I honestly don't remember how much it was I think it was like 30 I think I ended up getting it for like 30 or something let me look yeah $24.90 plus shipping now when I got the box just now right before this video um, the box barely made it barely made it to me um it part it was both both parties faults so um the box was like it looked like the um delivery people the usps who delivered it i don't know whoever delivered it played kickball dodgeball baseball every kind of ball with it but not only that the seller didn't really tape it didn't really tape the box which uh, you know what, I'm not really going to get into it, but it was barely holding on. I really thought the whole box was open, um, whatever, it, it made it. Um, the My Gouda Percha brooch was not in any bubble wrap. It was just in a little, um, you know, Ziploc bag, like about that big in there. And I was, I didn't even look at it really yet because I didn't want it, want it to see, I didn't want to see it messed up before I did a video, so... Anyway, this was also in the box, just like this. No bubble wrap. Um, honestly, if they if sellers put pieces together like this, I don't necessarily mind that much. It depends on what they're sending. Like if they, you know, if it's going to be, you know, shaking around in the bag and getting messed up, then yeah, I would mind. But, you know, this, even though I would prefer it to be a little bit more separated and maybe have some bubble wrap in it, it is what it is. Um, okay, I just never really had a box show up to my door that looked the way that did. <laughs> I was like in shock anyway so this is supposed to be a vintage lot let me just look again now that i'm like three minutes in okay so it says vintage costume jewelry lot some named fine so let's see what we got um she had a few lots and this one looked to be the best out of all of them so let's see. Um, again, if anyone's interested in anything, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. Also look in the description box. Um, I do a monthly jewelry subscription. Um, all that information is in the description box. I will be getting ready to send out February's box, so make sure you guys get in on that. Um, this... Well, it's not really vintage, but I mean, it's cute. I think it's in good shape. It just needs to be cleaned. It's definitely a little dirty. Yeah, it's in okay shape. Let's do five on that. And maybe, uh, maybe $12.99 online. This I could already see is not in good shape. You can see the wear of the silver tone so this is going to go into a craft lot so, oh i have these little earrings these are in good shape um they're just not something i'd be interested in selling so i'm gonna either probably put those in a mystery lot or if someone's interested i would just do two dollars okay so now let's see what's in these burritos <laughs> 
All right, I don't know how exactly I'm gonna open this. Let me get, where's my scissors? My scissors, my si there we are. My scissors are definitely, are definitely in need of replacement. Okay. Let's dissect the burrito. Okay, so I think I see what she did. She kind of like laid each piece down and like rolled it. So kind of like each layer, there's like layers. So this might, this might be a little difficult to get out all of this. All right, <laughs> so let's start with this layer. That's cute, it's um, not anything crazy, but um, there is a little bit of wear on the jump ring and on the back. Are we focused? Focus check. Okay, so I don't know. That might have to just go into crafting Unless someone wants it for like two bucks, but it has the back. Yeah, the back is pretty worn. Ay, ay, ay. We're not off to a good start. So this is cute. This has got some blue stones. It is not marked, but it is in excellent condition. Let me just check. the inside of the clasp oh it is um okay it says nine two five but why is it so bright i mean i know it can be vermeil oh it might be I just don't think i've ever seen that bright of a gold wash over sterling silver but who am i right <laughs> no it's a liar that line has disappeared. So that's just a fake, but still it is very pretty. Do we have all the stones? We do. So let's do six on that. Very nice and probably like 14 or 16.99. So this looks like one, oh wait, let's look at this first. This looks, Definitely vintage. Tis not marked. But let me make sure all the stones, yep, all the stones are there. It's a very cute, petite little rhinestone bracelet. Uh oh, what happened here? There we go. Super cute. Um,. Okay, so let's do five on that. She's cute. Probably like twelve or fourteen ninety nine online. So now we got this longer necklace with the different layers. All right, what's what's going on here? There we go. We got it a little bit. So this has got like a brass tone or an antiqued gold tone, I guess you would say, with some, I guess that's red. It looks more red in the camera than it does in person. Um, and then the faux pearls and then the two chains. So that's not bad, well, that's in good shape. The, some of these faux pearls are a little discolored, but we'll do five on that. It's got a nice extender. <laughs> All right, let's try to get into another layer. This is this is definitely weird. I guess she didn't have any little baggies, which whatever. I mean, hey, you got to make do with what you got, right? So, we have this 
is a little necklace. Do I have it the right way? Yeah. So it's just a fashion necklace. We got a star. We got some plastic white beads, but it's in excellent condition. So we can just do four on that. Then we have this one. I feel like this one is not in good shape either. We have some scratching on these gold tone pieces. I don't know. I mean, some of them are scratched. Maybe it's just the back of them. But I don't really feel comfortable having like paying having someone pay to wear this. So I'm just going to put this one into crafting. Okay. I feel like the pictures looked way better than these items look. Let's just get all this out. That's nice. Something, I don't know if you can see it, but the paper, I mean the cling wrap is blue, so something bled on it. Okay. Uh, so let me, let me just make sure this is the right lot that she sent me, because for some reason, yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> like, oh God. All right. Let's move everybody over. So this is cute. This is a beautiful shell with some green seed beads. That's broken in half. All right. Um, so yeah, that's going to have to go into crafting as well because I'm not going to sell that broken. But if anyone is interested, um, all my craft pieces are a dollar a piece to pull back out. Guys, this is not working out. This one... These pieces are okay. They just have some... This is like sticker. But this clasp is not really okay. Um, let's just do... Four, let's do two on this. And we'll... I'll see if I decide anything different <laughs> I don't know this is pretty I, this may be what made the um I don't know why it would make it blue because nothing's coming off on my hands hmm, I don't know but we have some uh a different sizing here for eat for um length and this is cute I love this blue this bright blue is very pretty so a nice seed bead necklace and I like how this is tubular <laughs> so let's do five on that and probably $12.99 online uh, how do you go something like that that's a really pretty green perfect for the summer maybe it goes this way I don't know um, yeah this is in good shape so I would just do like four bucks on that if anyone's interested. Not bad, not bad. <clears throat> uh, let's get this undone. What happened? Oh, okay, there we go. All right, so I don't know how I didn't see, I don't know, the, like this, something like this is not really my style of what I would list because I don't really think it would go for very much money. You know what I mean? You got to take into account your time to photograph, your time, you know, if you have to clean anything, your time to edit pictures your time to list the items 
And then if you're going to only list it for $8, you know, or $12, is it worth it? So to me, this would be a no. And it's got a boo-boo on the blue. So that's going to go right into the craft. However, um, I do make up for lots that may not be so great by creating mystery jewelry lots over time, like over a course of like five videos usually to make sure I'm not putting junk in them. And um, also craft lots, which I sell for, you know, 20 to $25. So I do make my money back, um, you know, in some ways, in other ways. So you always have to, if, as a reseller, you always have to, you know, keep thinking of income like how can you bring money into yourself and think outside the box this is cute but i don't know if these are supposed to be kind of faded i don't know guys let's just do two on this if somebody's interested it's a long one so this may appear to be real pearl pearls <laughs> They are knotted in between. Always check by rubbing them together. If they are gritty, they are real. If they are smooth, they are not. Do not rub them on your teeth. These do not appear to be real. They are smooth, but they have a vintage clasp. The fish hook. I do not see any markings but it is in excellent condition so we can sell this this is a good one um i would do eight for anyone interested or probably list it online for about 18.99 pretty cool okay this is pretty However, I think this style is pretty dated. So I am going to pass on it for myself and probably put it into crafting because this chain is not in the shape that I would deem acceptable to put into a mystery lot. Because I don't want somebody going through my mystery lot like I'm going through this one and I'm just like, no, 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 no. I want people to enjoy my mystery lots. So that's what I strive for. This is absolutely disgusting. I cannot believe this person even put this in here. It's rusted. Look. Oh my God. I hope you guys can see that. I think it is vintage. But it is just, I mean, guys, it's all like eaten away at. You know, I did, I don't normally, I don't like to give people bad feedback because I know that when I've gotten bad feedback once and I was really upset about it because it wasn't even my fault. Um, it was shipping delays, like come the F on. Anyway, um... I did give her neutral feedback because of the shipping, how there was no, it was, nothing was bubble wrapped. My Gouda Percha brooch was just in a bag, um, but I should have went through this and then left. Okay, it's fine. You know what? You guys, this is why I have a YouTube because I have to show you my ups and my downs. I can't just show you everything good because then you guys are going to think I'm a, I'm a faker. All right, this is just a chain. I don't know why I'm looking at it for so long because I can't talk and do two things at once. This is in okay shape, so I'll probably keep this for a pendant. I can't wait to read the comments on this video. Don't take it out on me. It's, I didn't do it. 
but feel free to go in on the seller. <laughs> Doo doo. Okay, now that that's out, I'll put. Oops, sorry. We'll put that to the side. See, this is cute. I like this one. So it's in great shape. It's got three. I'm sorry, four. If I can count correctly, um, layers, uh, strands, and it's got these really pretty. Like, I guess they are tiger eye. Yeah. Some of them are tiger eye and some of them are just glass, like a brown, amber wannabe. But this is pretty. And then it's got the gold tone, the silver tone, and then the big silver links. So that's cute. I like it. So we'll do, we'll do eight on this. Let me just check it over and make sure I'm not bugging out. Yeah, we'll, we're good on that. We'll do $18.99 online. Now this one, this is cool. It looks like there may have been some black accenting on this because you know you can see up there, maybe it's been rubbed off here. Um, but I do like it. However, I think the chain is a little long. It's like really long. Like this would sit almost at your belly button. So I think I would change the chain to something a little bit shorter. So if anybody purchases this and would like me to add a diff, uh, change out the chain for something shorter, you can just let me know and we will do $5. If you do not let me know, it gets sent with the chain as is. <laughs> All right, let's have some higher hopes for this last bag. All right. And if I go MIA for a couple days after this video, don't worry. It's just that I have nothing else to do videos on. I don't <laughs> I don't have any jewelry coming. Well, I do, but probably not until Thursday. Um and yeah, so this came. I was like, "Oh my god, I'm not even going to be able to do a video today." But this came, so I jumped on here. So um, I didn't even realize, because usually I have boxes and boxes stacked waiting to do videos on, and I, I don't for once. So these are pretty. These are clippies. I'd like to know which pieces are signed, because um, did, we, did we even have any yet? All right, so this, these are cute. I like these. They don't have a name, but I like them. And we'll do four on these, and I'll probably list them for about $12.99. Since they are clippies, it'll be a harder sale. But I have sold them before, so. All right, this is a, oh God. It doesn't even, uh, it doesn't even stretch. I probably wouldn't even be able to get this over my hand. You guys. Uh, unless you have a smaller wrist, then that's fine. I mean, a smaller hand. But this, look. I'm, uh, I'm like really trying. No, I don't want to. I don't want to bust it. So if you think you can get it on and you want it, you can have it for two dollars. Okay, what else do we got? We got this and this. These are clippies as well. These are some big honkers. I don't know. I'll do two bucks. Two dollars. This one too doesn't really have that much stretch. Oh, I think Kristen made a boo-boo with this lot. It was a fail. I mean, that's okay. It was only $24, so I really can't be that mad. Okay, so these, these are pretty nice. Um, 
They just need to be cleaned up, but there are these nice thick gold tone hoops and they just need a back. So if anybody purchases, I will, that's weird how that post is like all the way to the one side. <laughs> um, you know, let's do $2 and I'll throw backs on if anybody's interested. <laughs> These are cool. So this looks to be the vintage bag, the vintage side of it. These are actually really cool. I like these. Very mod. Super cool. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So let's do four on these cool tornado ice cream cone. I don't know what else to call it. So, uh, yeah, what I say, four, four dollars and probably twelve ninety nine on online. <laughs> yeah, these. Mm -mm. I mean, come on, bro. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can see that. Well, I'm glad I gave her neutral feedback and not good feedback because I'd be really upset with myself now. Like, come on. Let's all, let's, let's just, let's just laugh at this a lot because that's all we could really do, right? There, there's like two cool pieces. All right, so here we have something that's marked. Sarah Coventry. These are actually pretty cool looking. They're, they're in good shape. They're just dirty. They got that like oriental fan vibe slash peacock. So that's cool. I would do four on these two or like $12.99 online. Uh, where's the other one? Here it is. These are also clippies. I do not see a maker, but they're in good condition. Uh, bah, bah, bah. We'll do four on those as well. Okay, so let's look at these these things. These are definitely old, and they say Japan. Hollow. But these are pretty cool. Cool, cool. Uh, I don't know. Three dollars? I don't think these are silver. They're too lightweight and... Oh, no, no. Yeah. Who the hell knows? I give up with this lot. I do, I do. No, they are not silver. I didn't think so. Okay. So what I say? Two on these, two on those. Okay. My nose is starting to run because of the dirtiness of the jewelry. Okay, these do not have a mark either, but these are pretty cool clippies. Let's just do two dollars. Are these all clip-ons? Come on, dude. These say Japan. So these are definitely old. They're pretty cool. They're probably from the 50s, somewhere around there. These are actually really cool. You know, um, I wonder if I can be creative and make these into post earrings. I mean, I know you can, but can I, can I physically, <laughs> physically do it? Because <laughs> these are pretty cool. Um, yeah, I know. I think I would know how. It's just a matter of actually doing it. But these are cool. If you guys want them, $2.00. Um, or if you want to make them into posts yourself, you can do that. Ooh, these are nice. These are real stone. Um, agate. <laughs> the backs are pretty. 
Um, I think I see, but I think that's just a patent. So, yes, it is just a patent number. But these are cool. Um, see, these are another one I would I would love to make into posts. These would probably be easier. I mean, I would just rip that right off. Anyway, um, these are really nice. They're super cold to the touch. Let's do five on these. Those are cool. Cool, cool. All right. Okay, I see a missing stone already. <sighs> yeah. Mm -mm. Can't do anything with these. But what I can do is steal the bags. Hee, hee, hee. <laughs> Thank you. Full of the bags. And then they will go into crafting because they are missing a stone. But... You can ask me for them for a dollar, and you can keep them to replace other things with using the stones. Okay. These little guys are, no. They are plastic cabochons, rhinestones, I mean. But they are cute. I just would not sell them myself, like we talked about earlier. Um, but they match my nails. Two dollars. All right, I'm kind of getting bored of earrings. These look like uh, like pinwheels. Oh, almost dropped it on the floor. Okay, so um, no. So if you want these, uh, we do two. Um, so what do we have? Just that one Sarah Coventry. So far, that was. <laughs> These are cute. These are almost giving me Art Deco vibes. Um, that rhinestone looks like it's been through the ringer. It's not even, it's like dull. <sighs> yeah, I don't... It looks like they had fell out at one point because there's all glue in there. You guys, I can't sell these to somebody. They're old. <sighs> just put those into crafting. These are cute. Okay. These are nice. Oh, look. Oh, my God. They're signed. Oh, my God. <gasps> you guys. I don't even know what that sign is. I think it's Dana Buckman. Uh, not that you guys can really see that. But I believe it's the newer, maybe, Dave, Dana Buckman. I don't know. Either way, let's do four on these. If anyone purchases, I will find backs. No problem. Then we have these little huggies. Um, I think they're just fashion. That'd be great if they were in 14 karat gold. They'd really make up for this crappy lot. Hmm. I don't see any marks on them, though, and they're super lightweight, and they don't look like gold. So, I'm going to say no. And say $4. Those are cute. They're in good shape. All right. What is this? A plastic charm. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, you know, that's cool. He's just all scratched and missing the transfer wear. Or sticker, whatever that is. Like, I wonder if that happened because she did a crappy job wrapping it. Or if it was already like that. I should look closer at the pictures. So that's craft. Alright, so we have two of these. Which I'm really unsure of what they are. Oh, they're, they're just a pendant, I guess. 
does it open? Yes, but I can't get it. Oh, there it goes. So that's kind of cute. And there's two of them. So I would do, yeah, but you know what? You can't open it once it's on. So like you would have to put something in it that you don't, like it, obviously you can see through it, but you have to once, cause once you wear it, once you put the chain through, you're not opening this again. So unless you take the chain back out. So these are cool though. I would do five a piece. You can put like a picture in there still and you can see it all the time instead of having to open a locket. All right, I do see a cool piece I'm leaving for last, but this is actually pretty cool. I think I might keep this one. Keep it for my brooch collection. Because I collect the unusual. Animal, animal and insect brooches and anything unusual. Basically just not your typical, you know, like everyone collects certain things. I like the weird. So this might have to stay with me. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. Got a piece for me. We have a clown charm. Um, I don't think, I don't think it's silver. No. But it's pretty cool. I just need a jump ring. I'm sure I have one laying around somewhere. It's it's almost like a gold and silver tone. So if anyone wants this and they want me to put it on a chain, I can do that. And we will do $5. This is the piece I saved for last. So I would think this is Jasper maybe. I'm still not good with my stones. So you guys tell me. And I can find a chain for this as well. And we'll do eight on that. Because that's pretty cool. All right. So that was my... I can't say the word I want to say. But it starts with an S. S-H. <laughs> anyway, um... It's, it's not a horrible lot. It's just, I'm, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. So let's all have some fun with this lot and say funny things in the comments. Maybe make some jokes. Like maybe, you know, these look like Madonna's bra back in the day, you know, like let, let's have some fun with it. And, um, I hope you enjoyed anyway. And if you are interested in the few cool pieces that are here, send me an email. Thank you for watching guys. As always, I'll see you in the next one.